All right, sweet. So that was a quick turnaround right there. And we're going right into grand finals between these two. Lock Twins with the set advantage, opting to go Mario. And uh, V just uh, trying to look for his positioning right here. All right, forced off stage with the cape. Oh, that's, nope, not quite, almost. Lock Twins getting that double cape. Close enough to the ledge where you can get back. Okay. Very nice combo by Black Twins. Pops him up even further. How do you lend? Landing on saving that back air. Very nicely done. Does not get the spiking hitbox. Black Twins even trading with him, but. Ooh, very nice. And Black Twins actually uh, putting him back on stage there. Interesting choice, but hey, what can you do? Sometimes you go with the exchange that, you, that that best suits you. And he's trying to get himself back on stage. Ooh, back there, not gonna play do it there. With the fair, yes, catching Black Twins, tossing out that fireball. Not, he ain't having any of that. So that's gonna be the With that early stock advantage right there, remains to be seen if Black Twins can just uh, turn it around quickly or if he's gonna get. Uh, a little bit of extra credit right here. Some just desserts, if you will. Ooh. Go off stage. Waits his turn right there. Nicely done. Does not want to fall into that up smash. But gets that smash in the face instead, and we got an even. All right. We are charging up some smash attacks right here. Oh! Oh, come on! Come on! Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's three times now. For sure, please. I swear, this man, this this man's just getting. He used to play Yoshi too. Just the thought of Yoshi getting footstool shudders me. <laughs> Clearly having a little bit of uh, issues on that front. Game two off, we go to Battlefield. Coming in with a flurry down there. Another fair! Putting that into a combo. Alright, nicely done. Landing Dare. You just gotta be careful here with how he uh, Jabbing away right there, trying to force them off. And keeping center stage right there, which is definitely a position that uh, V feels he drives it. Again, just uh, calling out Blackfoot's options and converting accordingly. Forces them off stage. The fair. Blackfoot's able to land with that dare, getting a couple hits in there. Enough to push the only five away. Ooh! Be a little bit safer there. Both players really going for it. Oh! He kept himself airborne a lot longer. A lot. And uh, changed his ball speed up with that down air. Okay. That's Trump. Roll him up with that grab. And that up air will finish the job. You know what, five? Doing it nice and easy. I'm not gonna laugh about it over there. <laughs> Not sure what for, but hey, you know what? These are two friends right here going at it. They've played each other so many times. I'm sure they'll find something to, to just, you know, giggle about. Oh! Catches them on the hop and uh, throws out that up smash. Black Twins always doing a good job just evening up the score. Alright, that down smash. Okay. Not really with that paralyzer shot. The F tilt. Another F tilt for good measure. Despite V throwing out that up B. Now Black Twins has stage advantage. Oh! Black Twins trying to be cute with that wall jump, but V going in hard with that down B. Saying, nah uh. No, sir, not today. I'll be 1 1. And. Nowadays, you've got 
going into game three. Looks like they'll, they'll renew pleasantries on Battlefield, and Black Twins is uh, feeling okay to stay Mario here. Can you blame him, though? This is... He's got he's got one of the best advantages you can have right now, being in Grand Finals on the winner's side, so... This is pretty much, in a sense, this could be just data collection for him, and then it could just go Cloud and uh, lock in the result. Oh. Converting on some uh, some openings right there to take some early advantage on Blackwoods, but that's grab for his troubles. Does land nicely with that up B though. Good fight back on him. Ooh, the paralyzer shot right at the ledge, but not able to finish the job. Oh, had a jab lock with the nair, but no follow up from Blackwoods' end. Charges up that down smash fully, but. Holding that shield, getting back with that upbeat. He reaching a little bit with that grab. Uh oh, he's been carried. Ooh, almost up to the top. That's still coming out quicker than that F smash. And Blackman's trying. We get the job done right here. Okay. Four stop stage. V use that Zare. Yes, sir. There you go. Stock number one of V115. And he is looking pretty good. Blackhunt is trying to uh, reduce the arrears a little bit, though, and finds himself trapped in that platform, unfortunately. So that's not happening anytime soon. Oh. Vishal115. You are so good at this game sometimes. I don't know how you get caught in certain situations and lose to footstools and SDs and whatnot. Whoa. All right. Um, oh, no. Black Twins uh, channeling his inner Tsu right here and going Lucario. Game four on Battlefield. Trying to, trying to work some magic and let's see how it goes. All right. He's got him popped up with those... Uh, right there and getting some decent early percent right here with Lucario which is uh, not something you'd want to see if you're the opponent because you want to you want to inflict as much as you can on him first before he does any to you otherwise he's just gonna make the job easier for him and right now he's even up those percents a bit which is nice okay solid percent Blackman's trying to use that extreme speed hitbox to uh, Follow off, but it's a dare anyway, which is nice. Okay, rolls back on stage, but V unable to punish, and now he's gonna get back. He's trying to get the against the Aura Menace. Okay. That tilts him away. Okay. Blackwoods has him trapped in those platforms. That back air looking pretty fierce. Ooh. Be careful. Oh man, V just found himself out of jail with that down air. Aura Sphere charge into up smash. There you go, stock number one. Black Twins, looking like he's played this character for years. Getting those patented Lucario combos. But losing the stock right after, not able to take advantage of that aura. So we are right back to square one. Now, he's going to try and play this uh, Stefan Sock a little bit more conservatively than the first. Uh, early on, he was losing a lot of exchanges in neutral. But because Lucario doesn't do all that much damage at uh, low percents, it didn't end up hurting him too, too badly. Oh, okay, nice juggle. Me taking this man on a trip to the circus at some point. All right. Rotates around his shield, time and time again. That shield looking pretty raw. Now that I say it. Okay, good spacing right there by V. Avoids any sort of contact. That's it. Gotta be careful. That F tilts. Look at the start of something right there. Black Twins juggling with those up airs. 5%. Okay, good rebuttal by Black Twins, but. Taking too much punishment after that. Right. Or charge an up smash! Wow! 
That was so quick. He just ran up and, uh, and got the combo in. Quick and easy. 2-2. Two, two. And... He looked like... Uh, he, he had a thought that that game was in the bag, but you can never, ever count out Lucario, especially after what we saw this weekend. Sue was just... An absolute incredible phenomenon to watch and prove that this character is never, ever truly out of a game. All right, game five. Here we go on Battlefield. He's got to be careful with that grab right there. He's reaching a little bit too much. And again, Hotwin's capitalizing on some nice early percent right here. Ooh, that actually put him in a worse scenario than he envisioned. Be able to get back, but that boost can nicely done. Left hook into grab. Into fair. Nicely done. Continues the assault right there. Back air forcing him off stage. Does manage to uh, tap Blackman's out of the door charge. Bats him away again with the jab. Blackman's trying to use the hitbox of that up B to. Uh, Catch me unaware. Right. Grab an up air. VDI's away. Very nicely done. And catch them right on the extremes with the down B, but Black Twins is living. And Lucario is looking ever strong. Gotta be careful now. Force palm from center stage. Wow. Come on. Steel fighting type, man. Ooh. No tech, though. And able to equalize that really, really quickly. And I mean, gotta give him credit where credit is due. He hasn't allowed Blackman to take full-on advantage of Aura with the stock lead. So, kudos to him for that, but he does need to clinch the stock if he wants to have any further say in this event, in tonight's action. Alright. Fair. Jabs him out. Last delay hitbox on that jab. Right. Keeps his bearings. Up airs. V playing very much the aggressor right now in this uh, in this showdown. He's got black hands up. Back airs him off stage. Percent lead is nothing against Lucario, though it has to be said. And all about how you play this. Okay. Avoids any further contact right there, which is good. If he grabs you, it's fine. As long as he doesn't convert afterwards, you're good. Oof. Back air is ferocious. You do not want to be able to see any of that. She was at worst for a Back air from center. Not quite. And the danger zone is deepening right here. 3-1-5, but that boost kick is going to clutch it out. Grand Finals reset. Good stuff to V. That was uh, that was an incredibly high pressure situation right there. Lucario sitting at 130 plus. V himself sitting at around 60, 65. That's uh, that's pretty much both characters at kill percent as it gets. Three, two, one, go! And Black Twins now opting for the cloud. Let's see if he's got that download. Oh, so it off a couple dash attacks into a blade beam. Solid 34. Okay. Ooh, that would have been a nice read right there. I'd have connected with that back here. Okay. Now it's a beast chance to do something right here. Looking pretty right there with the uh, follow ups, but Black Twins fight right back to the top left. Right there with the uh, inside beat. Very patient though, and that's something I really, really like for V015. You know, he's not super forcing the issue, he's just trying to get Blackman to drop his guard on the cutter step. Ooh, that's the burn limit right there, it goes high. Sits at ledge right there. 
pretty precarious situation considering Cloud's Bear is a very solid tool. Ooh. Just misses. Alright. Not able to punish that bear or that down smash. And he has to roll back and uh, pick a spot. A bear. Puts him away into Zare. And again. Paralyzer in a boost kick. There you go. V015. It's first blood. In this grand final set two. Okay. Nice up tilt right there against the uh on the board right now. Looking for any further follow-ups, but uh Blackfence isn't gonna allow that right away. Be careful the wheels him in. Fair and off bear again, another grab, and that's it! Takes him up. Boost kick, elevator. Go. Pretty convincing game one win by v 5 Blackman's gonna take some time to think it over and uh, get right back into the thick of things. And then, right away, just opting to go battlefield. Just confident enough that uh, this character can get the, get the job done in this stage. So let's see, game two, here we go. It yeah, started well enough. It's just that uh, V did such a great job working it back with Ensa. Oof. Throwing off that uh, hitbox right there and got punished. Alright, there you go. V again reaching for that grab and Blackman taking full advantage. Again, cross slash. Nice extra percent and allows him to get that burn, get limit for that time. So, cross the field. But hey, cross slash from center stage. Yes, sir. There you go. Black Twins making a very strong statement to begin game two. The off the retreat to platform. Eats the full breadth of that shield. Just kick. Even his recovery right there, pushing Black Twins away. Yeah, he's a nice percent. Oh! Trying to hit him with that elevator again, but not quite. Oh, strange. Point blank paralyzer. Look at the platforms, waits for Black Twins to land. Gets that grab, but no follow up coming. Uh oh, gotta be careful. Don't wanna be fishing for those boost kicks too much. Alright, avoids that. And thankfully for the for the stage. Or at least for on 5s case, that stage platform. Beating his uh, escape. But throws out a grab and gets cross slashed. So he quite lose the stock there, so he's okay. Ooh. Alright. Gets fared, tech rolls away, and avoids further punishment, but Black Twins doesn't live to see that, that star. Alright, B does have a big deficit, and yep, there she goes. 1 1. Black Twins evening it up fairly quickly, fairly demonstrative on his part. He might have grabbed a stock near the end there, but Black Twins pretty much had control throughout the entirety of that match. Which is good to see. It's that bounce back factor. And, um, off we go to game three. It's interesting to see how they start this one off. Black Twins again, uh, racing out to a nice lead here. 33% for that V15 grab. And 35 of his own. Both players putting up those numbers early. Black Twins with that turnaround cross slash. Oh, just overspacing that grab a bit and ends up uh, getting on the receiving end of one of his own. Okay, catches Black Twins hopping and uh, eats an up smash. Another fair, and burns his limit along the way. Ooh, that was the extra mustard KO, if anything. Blackfoot's having already burned his limit and forced to go up B there. Didn't really have much much of a chance, but V 
Just wanted to ensure that. Wanted to make sure that stock was as good as good. A little bit of style points never hurt anybody. Ooh, down smash. Black Twins able to close that deficit out pretty quickly. CLV response. Okay. Jumps in there. He's keeping his distance at the ledge. Black Twins sitting right there, trying to pressure him up close. Ooh. Trying to punish off of that with grab, but V able to throw that jab out very quickly. Blackman's forced to burn limit, but does. There's the pop view on the final. Good on him. Ooh. All right. Again, he's just getting a little bit uh, trigger happy with those grabs. The end leg is pretty maddening on that, so you don't want to really uh, open yourself up. Punishment. Alright. He's keeping his sister there, but Black Twins charging in with those aerials. Finally getting one, but B is running in earnest. Okay, up air. Last hit of that jab actually sending him the other way. Black Twins opting to up throw this time. Go fully charge a little bit. It's definitely getting cat and mouse right here. Neither player trying to show off their hand. All five cards are on the table, but who's going to get it? Well, the 0 5 answers my question right there. Resounding finishing combo with that F smash. And he now has. Black Twins on the ropes, 2-1 for V-015. He is very close to uh, taking yet another Code Name Salty Vets in his favor. If Black Twins has anything to say about it though, he knows he's got a couple of games left to make this back. Black Twins often hang on the ledge very, very long right there. And v is Playing it smart, keeping his distance. But, he ends up getting a lot of upgrades in the process and Black Twins just taking full advantage of any little sweet spot that he can get. And he's not going fully charged. This is the big one right now. So it was hoping Black Twins would stay put, but uh, wisely rolls away. Okay, nicely done by V and ends that stock right at the drop of a hat right there. V looking poised to take yet another weekly. Can he seal the deal? Or is Black Twins gonna have something to say after this? Time will tell. V off the hang on the ledge right there. Black Twins giving him that platform pressure, throwing out that four hit cross slash. All right, back air, yes. Gets the job done. Black Twins right back in it. Okay. He throws out a grab on the top platform, but Black Twins is just too far to really take advantage of it. He just kind of ghosting around Black Twins right here. Another up air. A B! That is not going to be it. Black Twins' is DI was very good right there. Not wanting to lose that stock that early. And here he goes. Ooh, had an air dodge chance, but not able to punish. Okay, force him off with the dash attack. Down on ledge, but he clever juke right there with the flip kick. Okay, he's on the platform. He needs to get down. Ooh. He's really having a... I'm trying to get theirs right here, but it's all to who really uh, together that opening. And Black Twins starting to work his way back into the count and into the set. There you go, game five. Black Twins. Oh my God, a fresh. There you have it. And now, this is for all the marbles right here. Who is getting first? That codename Salty Bet 61. Black Twins or V015? All right, well, 
All other nine games were here, so it makes absolutely no surprise to anyone that they play game number 10 here as well. So, oh, no, this is going to be the grand finale right here between these two. They've both given it their all. They've both been really, really good, just proving their mettle time and time again, but we're almost at that point where there can only be one. And both of these players, they don't want to do up the ghost right here. Black Twins doing his part right there. Putting us at at least an even Stevens position right there with that cross slash. Taking the lead afterwards. Stuff there. Alright. Another one five trying to uh, further his combos right there, but Black Twins not giving him any chance to do so. Back here's him off stage. And he's got him off. Okay, just gotta be careful. Does manage to land safely, which is good. Cross slash on the up smash. Yes, there you go. Gets his opportunity to punish and takes it with both hands. Black Twins, one stock away. Getting first place. As per the norm. Keeping his distance right there and playing it a little bit more patient. He just needs to uh, put his opportunity into sights. And sees Blackman sliding right there. Tries to go for it, but just not quick enough to react. Good stuff. Tries to go immediately for the boost kick, but reaching a little bit. Alright, nice enough. Blackman's DIing away. Keeps that limit. Good on him. Burns his, but does end up winning that exchange. Okay, the yes match. Does not space it properly on that boost kick. That time he gets it, and that is going to be it. We are both on last stock right here. This is money time. What up or shut up? Now, Black Twins furthering that advantage right here. 81%, but he is going to get popped up right here by that up smash. The 0 5 looking like he wants a little more here. He's got something to say. Not ever, but he just can't bring him all the way up. He does do a good job, just evening the percents. Oof! Okay, Black Twins. Has his arms raised right there with that up air. Puts him back up. Alright. Going close to the ledge. Black Twins forcing him off. What does he do here? He tries the ledge trunk. Doesn't quite get it. Ooh, he's just gotta watch out. Running himself in too many careless situations. Okay. He's there. Throws away. Is he going to? Ooh, the up air, and that is going to be it. Black Twins just pulling it out. Game five. Very close situation with these two, and it's got to be said, that was a very well played grand finals. Iconic Salty Bets. Might be a weekly, but these two definitely gave it their all tonight. That's always good to see. Anyways. Thank you, boys and girls, for tuning in. I hope you all had a good time. And it's Mickle signing off. Put him salty, best number 61. Have a good night, everyone. And I'll see you sometime soon, all right?